Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can control your vehicle with a steering wheel. So let's go. First of all we will using the vehicle template. If you don't have it you can just go to add, add feature or content pack and select the vehicle template right here and add it to the project. Then we go to the settings, plugins and search for the windows raw input. And as you can see, it provides the inputs for the flight sticks and steering wheels, etc. Then we can close this one, go again to settings, project settings, then scroll down to the plugins, and here you have the raw input. Now, very important to find your vendor ID and the product ID. You can find this under control panel, device manager, human interface devices, then search for your steering wheel, open up the properties, go to the details and then you can select the hardware IDs. And here you can see the vendor ID and the product ID. In my case, as you can see, it's 046D and C24F. The rest can be the same if you're using a common steering wheel like Logitech, for example. And then we can just close this one here. Next, we go to the vehicle template folder blueprints and open up the vehicle player controller. Inside here we have the begin play event where we assign the input mappings in this case for the normal ones, so for the keyboard and the mouse. And here you can see we have the add additional steering wheel input mappings. So we just go to the details of this boolean here and check it to true. Compile and save this. Then we can close this one and basically that's it. We now hit play and I hit the steering wheel, we can actually stare. But you see as well a problem, I need to stare very much to control this sports car here. For this we can adjust actually the staring. Let's go back, open up the inputs and here we have the IMC steering wheel where we have the throttle, the brake and the steering. Let's open up the steering, open this up for the generic USB controller access one, then the modifier, the index, and here we can adjust the value. So let's make it easier. So put this to four, four and four. The higher the value, that easier is the steering. Let's close this one and try this again. You can see it's now much easier to stare with a vehicle. Of course you can easily adjust the inputs here. So let's say we want the handbrake on the X of the steering wheel. So let's open this up. We just hit this plus to add an action mapping. Then we select the handbrake in our case. And the good part is we can click on select a key value. And now I can click a key on my steering wheel that I want. In this case the X button. It's just the generic USB controller button one. If I hit it again and press the circle, we have button three, etc. Let's keep it to X, for example, and save this one. When we now drive the vehicle, also we have the pedal input. So as you can see, I can have throttle and brakes with the pedals. And when I now press X on the steering wheel, we have the handbrake as well. Great. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.